do you think the United States is in decline? Absolutely not. I think we got big problems. But as I pointed out in the book, and one of the reasons I wrote the book was to restore hope for people and remind them that we've faced difficult problems in the past, depression after depression, wars, flaws in democracy, and we've overcome all of them, and we can do that again. And so we have to wake up. We need investment in our people. We need investment in our schools. If you're spending all your money on two wars in the Middle East, then you're not spending money on your people. And you're not really preparing for what the real challenge is in the 21st century. Well, you know, I have a radio show on Sirius XM Satellite Radio, in which I interview people all over the country. The guy that shined shoes at the Pittsburgh Children's Hospital for 46 years, and out of every tip that he received, he put a portion of the tip into a fund to pay for poor kids' health care. And the day I interviewed him, he put over $100,000 into that fund. Now that's what I call the goodness of the American people. The executives at Sirius came to me and said, well, what are you going to do when you run out of people like this? And I said, you don't understand America. I'm never going to run out of people like this. You take a look at major changes in America. They did not come from the mind of a senator. They came from citizens. 1830s, few people got together and said slavery is immoral. The 1880s and 90s, few people got together and said women ought to have a right to vote in this country. 20th century, some people got together and say African Americans ought to have the Constitution guarantee their rights as well as the rest of us called the civil rights workers. Somebody said, you know, we got to clean up the air and clean up the water in this country. All four of those came from citizen movements. And so if we are at a time now where we have serious problems, but we recognize the foundation of selflessness upon which the country is based and lives today in community after community in this country, then citizens have to step forward.